We are the 35th Fighter Wing, and we preserve the U.S. interests in the Indo-Pacific Theater to include the defense of Japan. We also help deter our adversaries through our presence, readiness, and the ability to project combat power in the Indo-Pacific region. As a lead wing, we're responsible for the execution and employment for all the units that are here at Red Flag. This is approximately 1,000 personnel and around 50 to 55 aircraft to include NATO partners and our Royal uh, New Zealand Air Force and the Royal Air Force as well. Studies had uh, been compiled that stated that if we could get our combat pilots and weapon systems operators through 10 sorties, that their chance of survival was increased uh, for the duration of the Vietnam War. And that is how Red Flag was actually born. What we wanted to do was take an exercise that focused on 10 realistic sorties that emulated a combat environment, really in a safe environment, and allowed our combat air crew to train to that, which would allow them hopefully to get the experience and training that they needed to successfully navigate those first 10 days of combat. What we get here at Red Flag is, is that continued readiness training that allows us to continue to project combat air power in the Indo-Pacific theater is one of the primary reasons it's vital to continue this training in Alaska.